This is Weird Renegade Witches Blog. Hit us up when you want some real motherfucking work done. Of course, go to the Weird Renegade website, listen to the past shows of Blog Talk Radio, but you already know that Wayward is about their revenge, redemption, responsibility, about their work, about that occult life, because art is occultism, occultism is an art. And I just kind of want to get right into it. You already know Wayward already have the lessons going. In addition, you already know that I do the one-on-one energies with spell work and, and understand the spell work work is separate from the one-on-one frequencies and understanding who you are what you need to work on again okay so let's look at some energies here i'm just kind of you know getting past the whole thanksgiving thing you know some of you niggas out here call yourselves not celebrating thanksgiving not, not understanding it is a form of spell work we've we forgot all about the philanthropy type of energy um and more some of you guys out here don't have family then get your ass out there and donate get your ass out there and volunteer in a, in a homeless shelter go make some fucking food and give it to people some of you people out there say well we didn't we, we don't got it like that but maybe if you give more maybe you have it like that maybe you do some work you'll have it like that somebody went in forward that uh tasha k with her broke back mountain gluten fucking making dressing ass y'all listening to this mess talk about she she's going to get away from seafood it's not this it's not that they all in it together fuck what she's saying talking about ebt she she didn't she didn't made up a whole lie talking about when she grew up in panama where did that come from and talk about via Venice people what the hell are you talking about? See how they just make up whole stories? I've been looking at these broke back mountain struggle meals people out here making and putting them on social media. None of you, it's like nobody know how to cook anymore. Dry ass cornbread, dry ass dressing, dry ass meat, dry ass everything. What else is dry? questionable greens and collard greens what the fuck y'all act like you you don't know how to get along with your family and tolerate them so you guys create this friends thanksgiving because because you call yourself making a movement and I told somebody, I said, back in the day, there was no friends Thanksgiving. You just invited your friends over to your family house and y'all ate on Thanksgiving. So what type of spell work is that? That you have a whole separate energy away from family. The whole point of Thanksgiving is incorporating individuals into your family. Because you understand when you sit at the table, that's a form of spell work, right? Maybe some of them people that you have in them, that friends Thanksgiving really need to be around something and some kind of family. I don't care if you cuss each other out. Some people need that. You trauma-based niggas. But y'all sitting in your, in your house bed rottening. You know the new Gen Z word. AKA depression. Is that what you're doing? You bed rottening? That emo shit, that's that's gonna be the new psychology word. They they're gonna add that in a book now. Bed rotting. And how you get over it is that you have to put your ass on a schedule to get your ass about the bed. Cause you in the bed, bed rotting. But some of you guys on Thanksgiving bed rotting. <laughs> anyway. It's been so much shit going on. Now, they didn't informed us that Puff Daddy have two more people coming at him. You got somebody coming at this Jamie Foxx. You got more people coming at Bill Cosby. What the fuck is going on here? And you telling me this is not bullshit? It's not spiritual work? It's not people pulling people down? Let's look at some energies. We're just talking, right? 
everybody been talking about that funky Deneva on T was it TGIF is on Fox Soul and I'm assuming it's with Claudia Jordan and Al Reynolds and apparently he let Paula Jai Parker have it because Paula I'm gonna call her Paula told the truth of what it is and what it ain't and he seemed to believe that she was rape shaming abuse shaming and more take that fucking millennial shit and stick it where it needs to go because she's speaking real and speaking right and people just don't want to deal with the realities that if we go back and we understand the case of casey or cassie whatever you want to call her here's the truth of it she's she, she's not lying most of these people are hired escorts Cassie was a hired escort. She and if you go back and it, and it took a spiritual a spiritual constituent who pointed it out to me that an attorney read the alleged claim, and on the alleged claim, the record company was actually noted on the claim. That is because that is because Cassie was hired by the record company. So it wasn't so much Puff Daddy paying not the Cassie, it was the record company who hired her who paid out. So you will see more and more that there are entities behind these individuals that are paying out. The sacrifice are the individuals that have to come down. What goes up have to come down. Okay? So if they're paying out these energies, then somebody, how'd you get out here? Somebody has to pay. So what Paula, what Paula Jai is trying to say is everybody knows what's going on because people understand that these people are hired guns. Don't come back now hollering that this happened to you, that happened to you. When you, when you were in it, you were hired to do your job. Okay. So I know Claudia Jordan wasn't talking shit because everybody talks about how in the fuck she got on the prices, right? Everybody talks about Al Reynolds, you know, knowing he was gay all along up there marrying who's that, that attorney. So we're not going to keep going and we and we for sure not going to talk about this person that they're giving us called Funky Deneva and his backstory. The question is, why are we not checking someone like Funky Deneva? Why are we in this universal soul as women letting him check a woman? See, here's what I'm saying. And I said this to somebody. I said, why are gay men uh, basically attacking women? You're a gay male. You're a man. And the way they're coming about it is very catty. So why is it something to have him read and dog walk, as they call it, a woman? That shit ain't cool. And it's happening in the black community. It's happening to black women. And nobody's saying anything about it. He knows what it is. He knows what it ain't. He attacked her looks that had nothing to do with what the case is. She's only talking about what Hollywood is. She's only talking about what the fuck she's went through. She's only talking about what most of these, most of these, um, these actresses went through. Didn't you read about what, what Gwyneth Paltrow, how people were, were angry with her, how she slept with, with Weinstein? You don't know about the, what is it, the couch? You don't know about even with old Hollywood? They talking about these these escorts? You Are you telling me that you don't know the stories of old Hollywood, of them having gatekeepers for the men and women? So why are people like Funky Deneva out here acting like that shit is not real? So what you're going to do is attack the real energy and use the energies of projection, rejection, um, re re and, and a redirection, and perception, and deception. That's all what that is. That's a form of air and fire spell work. Isn't he a Libra? So out of so out of a mouth of a Libra, we're going to hear air and fire of him basically detouring the facts that she was a hired escort. 
And most of these people out here are hired escorts. And the only thing that, that we are looking at right now is the downfall of them. Now you have people coming out talk about, oh, you know, Clive Davis did this. And look, all the motherfuckers are caught up. All them record people, even, you know, the people who backed Beyonce, all of them are guilty. They were talking about Adina Howard, uh, what's his name, Wanye, and um, Brandy. And people talking about, wasn't Brandy 16 years old dating Wanye? Was she really dating him? Because some, well, somebody was telling me that he's interesting. He's very flavorful. But how Adina Howard got thrown under the bus? What, what the fuck do you think Adina Howard was? Or are we not peeping that Brandy was a pass around? Allegedly. Are we going to sit up here and act like these men aren't pass arounds and they slept and did what they did and escorted? Are you going to tell me Haley Berry didn't come to the door with a fur coat on fucking and sucking? It's just now they're using a different frequency to push people out. Is that what we're going to act like? As women, especially as black women, I think we have to do better. We have a new form of uprising of lesbians who are off the fucking hinges, who are gatekeepers abusive, up here doing spell work on heterosexual women. Okay? We'll attack the fuck out of you. There was a time you didn't hear that with them, but now that's what they do. We have a whole frequency of gay men that's, that's in the weights to clown the fuck out of a woman. Disrespect a woman. What is this energy that you can't speak on the truth of what it is? You can't speak on old Hollywood. You can't speak on the old entertainment world. You get attacked if you're telling the truth. Because you, because you, because you're taking it personal, because you feel like, well, I, you know, I don't like that that nigga puff daddy anyway. But you don't realize that you support many other pedophiles. You don't realize that you that you're up here supporting many other rapists, murderers, psychopaths, maniacs. You don't know what these people are. They were talking about how how a lot of the secret services. I mean, secret service people out here are very interesting and very and very much have a maniac behavior. Are you going to tell me that a lot of these people are not fucking um, a brutes, criminals? I was having a discussion with someone about the about the whole energies of Tubi. I say, you know what? I was watching this movie called Sloppy Seconds. And the movie was very troubling. And it was troubling because it showed different type of sexual frequency, abuse, and harm. It showed where a, a black guy went and tied up a black woman and had a dog come in and lick her vagina, recorded the shit then put it on social media. Then you find out at the end of the movie that her father was raping her, wanted a relationship with her. I said, where are they getting these storylines? Especially in the black community. What type of spell work is this? And they putting this out in a universal soul. Do you know other people will see that and then have bright ideas to do that to women? I've seen, what's that guy, that Khalil... Some, that Khalil guy and it was this movie called Only Something um, Only Fans and I said that movie that was Tyler Perry was it called Black Girl Something didn't he play a rapist in that movie he playing a rapist in this movie is his name Khalil Kane or something and he played in Juice I said what is happening so more and more I sat there and I analyzed because some of you people invested in in Tubi. Like like that shit is real to you. That's my guilty pleasure because I'm interested. What the fuck is really going on here? 
So I had to turn back and think about some stuff. I said, these are the type of stories that I would hear from niggas in jail, pimps, people who've been brutal, guys or men who've been brutally assaulted. And I said, are they taking prison stories and making them into movies? Is that what they're doing? Because I'm going to say it's very interesting that you have Tasha K interviewing Tubi people. This this the same energy that's on Tubi. It's the same energy and same people that she interviewed. She interviewed somebody that is popping up on social media that apparently this woman's father was sleeping with her with her husband or her boyfriend. I said, that's a Tubi movie. I just seen this shit. I said, is this all to the black community? Is, is this what they're pushing out? Who in the fuck bought the United States that have now bought black people and this is the presentation that they are presenting to the world of black people? So I was looking at some of the writers and stuff. I said, these are not regular people. These are not screenwriters. These are niggas that are, that are right now probably sitting in prison writing, these, writing this shit. And we just, as black people, keep being pulled in the underworld. But that's our fault because we don't have the organizations that, that we used to. I was listening to something that they had an organization in Detroit with housewives that backed up the, the community and the economy. What happened? And I keep saying, we have to rebuild that. We have to build an indie culture. Because if you don't build an indie culture, then they're going to steal your culture. You have Asians out here and motherfuckers decolonizing history. And black is a religion. You have them step dancing and taking the whole energy. And replacing, our, and, and replacing us. So basically, black is a religion. And anybody can come in and just steal it, take it, do, do, do whatever they want to. Then as soon as you speak on it, then you get motherfuckers like Funky Dineva talking shit. Don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And they all have a backstory. So we have to ask, who is supporting Funky Dineva? Who's backing him? Who who who's back, who who is backing Fox Soul? Who is backing Claudia Jordan? Who is backing Al Reynolds? Who are these organizations? Who are these organizations? As soon as somebody gives enlightenment to the truth, they get basically chewed the fuck out. Who's in the peanut gallery? These younger people don't get it because they because they because they are Johnny Come Lately. So they don't understand what the real energies were and what they are. And some of these people volunteer for it. In that case, then why isn't Black China suing um, um, uh, Gucci Mane for assaulting her, allegedly? Why isn't Beyonce allegedly suing Jagged Edge, allegedly? We just talking rumors, right? Because there should be a whole lot of people out here getting charges pressed against them and press, charges pressed against them in addition getting money. Because remember, we were talking about that, um, what's his name? That Hussein person. And then somebody got on social media to break him down and say he's a liar. And they started to analyze the whole backdrop of what was going on with him. And I had talked about him in the video like, look, this shit out here is real that we have gatekeepers. And they up here sexually assaulting people. And he was out there cutting up because he was having a mental breakdown. 
And then you had somebody on TikTok breaking down Hassan Campbell. They needed to tell us that the whole thing was an act. We get it. But is he lying about the principle? See, you guys don't understand the principle. See, this is what I'm talking about. Aaron Fire Magic. You guys don't understand the principle. You want these all these facts, but you don't understand the principle. So you will sit on social media and basically try to break everything down about an individual. But what's the principle? What is he trying to say? What are the facts? What's the energy? Right? We out here still listening to Ayanna Van Zandt talking about grief when we really know what the real deal is of her, both of her daughters dying. And then now we want to take cues from her and we don't understand that she's been a whole hack all along. You better understand who follow, who she follows and who follows her and who backs her. Okay. Because we're going to get tired of them talking about grief after they know what happens with their children, allegedly. They had you guys caught up in LLCs and you not realizing they gamed you. They straight goofed you and gamed you with these LLCs. You want to know why? Because it was just to track your finances. All you niggas got these LLCs and the government is up there tracking your monies. Didn't see that coming, huh? Because that's all they want to do is track everything you do. So you think you're doing something with these LLCs. Be smart. Understand. Educate yourself about these LLCs, especially when you're black. They, they are just not giving you anything. What's that, that woman called the vegan, the vegan, whoever? And she went at that graduation giving all you niggas LLCs. Who's backing her up? What government is backing her up so they can basically monitor your black ass, allegedly? You guys are so simple-minded. Somebody trying to show you some energies happening at the Doja Cat concert, how she shape-shifted and you too busy talking about it's nothing but a damn... Um, uh, a snapchat a snapchat filter so they so they really have you guys out here really closed-minded and stupid that you don't even know when something is shape-shifting in front of your eyes because you think it's a filter that's a good one that means you guys have no spiritual understanding they're filling these schools with asian teachers now and your kids, they are about to be caught the fuck up because you have these new teachers that's teaching your black kids, especially, and we're going to say in urban neighborhoods, saying, take hold and regulate your emotions. Take hold and regulate your emotions. So therefore, that goes back to the old slavery energies of black people are not supposed to have emotions. You guys, let me see here. I was looking at something and I was like, what the hell? And she was up there talking about regulating. Let me see if I could find her. Hopefully I can find her. She's a teacher. And I think she called herself Jaden.
And Jaden, it was a little black boy who came to her. And she was, and she called herself de-escalating the situation. And when she de-escalated the situation, she talked very calmly to the little boy and to the little boys. And she told them to regulate, here, what was her name? Okay, here we go. She told them to regulate their emotions. Yo, black boys, regulate it. Hmm. Her name is Jade slash Lifestyles and Teaching. And she teaches, she's a second grade teacher. Okay? So we have these new breeds of teachers who are teaching your children who wants to regulate and control their personality type. And because the world is moving in this regulating energy, it goes back to the white people talking about ADHD and adult ADHD. I was listening to someone who said, I have a learning disability that I have ADHD. ADHD is not a learning disability, either is AD. Those are behavioral issues. Um, learning disabilities connects back to dyslexia, okay? That's what that is. And ADHD and all of that has a different type of frequency. But what they have done, especially with millennials and Gen Zs, especially with later millennials and Gen Zs, they have incorporated as ADHD being a learning disability. And that is why when people need to be diagnosed as dyslexia, they're not. They're under the energies of ADHD and they're sending them to hospitals from what I understood now to be diag you know, to get testing and so on and give them medications. And there's a misunderstanding and they're purposely intoxicating these new breed kids telling them, they have a learning disability and it's ADHD and it's not. Then they came up with this 504 plan. I was like, I've never heard of a 504 plan. I just heard a strictly IEP. And I had to tell a person, I said, why would they have you literally having medical appointments? For your dyslexia that's because they were prescribing this person medication so in the long run when you have these new breeds of teachers talking about regulating emotions and attitude and feelings medication is going to be on the loose again so we have to watch and be careful of these teachers especially these new ethnicities of teachers especially the push because all they want to do is harm and all they want to do is drug our children and all they want to do is regulate emotions. There's nothing wrong with having emotions and feelings, okay? They are scared of those emotions and feelings because what happens that you may become a what? A, 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 a revolutionist. That means you think. If you just sit there and read all day, then you're nothing but a puppet. Remember, that was the energies with the whole King Leopold with them basically editing and altering the Bible and the truth. See, a lot of you guys don't follow the Bible, but in reality, the new Bible, yes, it is edited, it is altered, it is whitewashed. But when you read it in a certain way, that is why black people know that word and they get in the spirit because it is still connected to our melanin. And you guys got caught up with the conscious community talking about it is slavery and this and that, but you didn't know the true nature. We just talking here after Thanksgiving, right? Of dumb shit. When you had your Thanksgiving, did you give thanks to our ancestors, the black Indians? And more and more, the pictures are coming out what the actual ancestors look like. Isn't it, isn't it coming, coming to pass that in reality... Maybe there wasn't any Africans here or, or, or when did these individuals come that in reality, maybe the real enslaved were, were actually the Indians hmm. and the Indians look just like the African people and people have private collections of all the Indian sculptures, artifacts, stuff like that. And you guys think Thanksgiving has something to do with some a hybrid Indians and some white folks and chicken pox pox did you hear about the chicken pox outbreak 
allegedly. Did you hear about how they're moving around homeless people and they're coming up missing? Did you hear about what happened in San Francisco, how they just cleaned up everything when the Chinese man came? No feces, no homeless. Everybody just disappeared. San Francisco, clean as fuck. Are you hearing about how they how they sat up and, and basically, and now, is it Dublin somewhere? And bombed them shelters because apparently the same thing is happening there. That all these other immigrants are coming into various countries and they don't want them there. Is that why they, they closing down allegedly the shelter in Staten Island? But then purposely moving people around. Is that why the National Guards was hitting on people in Staten Island? Homeless shelter? What's going on here? And it's not allegedly, it's facts. Lying to people, forging their signatures so they can transport them somewhere else. Uh, losing them in the system. Busing them to other shelters and they're not even in their system. Hmm. Bye. Right. You guys out here celebrating Derek, what's his name, Shovin, the one who allegedly killed George Floyd, and I say allegedly because he got, was stabbed up in federal prison? We need to put that on the shelf. That sounds interesting. Hmm. Looping back to Puff Daddy, somebody put on social media in that, in that video, Juicy, with Notorious Big, how that pool scene... I said, God damn it, we been having these transsexuals in videos. And they showed two transsexuals in the video and then blamed it on Puff Daddy. No, don't blame it on Puff Daddy because all them niggas was, was fucking transsexuals. Had nothing to do with Puff Daddy. Remember how they how, how they talked about allegedly the whole new edition was fucking them. Remember Mace got caught. All of them get caught. All of them doing what they do. And it doesn't have anything to do with one person. Do you under, like I told you, do you understand the price of ass that went up for men? The men are a commodity. They pimping and pandering trans men. Fuck you pussies. Trans men. They, 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 they don't even want your gay boys anymore. You want trans men. You know, when I got flipped out, I got flipped out when there was something came up about Whitney Houston, Bobby Christine and Bobby Brown. Remember their reality show? And, and somebody wrote, wow, I can't believe that all of them died. And somebody said, Bobby Brown is still alive. And they said, no, he's not. Kelly Price then popped up with her lying ass, huh? Telling whole story tales about Whitney Houston. She's nonstop. She on my fucking nerves. Black Friday ain't making that money like they used to. Missed the days of people trampling people, knocking people over, stealing from their children. Now stores are dead. Because they want you guys bed rotting. Somebody gave me the video of Ash. Ash is kind of, I'm going to say is a Gen Z. But she dated that guy, a soul Illuminati. And he stole all her, he, he stole her energy and mounted it on top of him. Well, I guess somebody then forced her to learn Spanish because she sounded horrible. I don't know if she's Latina. I know she's something biracial. And she had to give up on it. I guess to 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 target the Spanish community, I will admit, looking at some of her subscribers and some of them views, it did increase. Is that what they're doing now? 
So they're talking about the solar system and how they want to knock out the energies above, you know, so we can't communicate with, with each other as they were talking about allegedly the Biden administration want to take over the internet providers. Allegedly. They just want to stop us from talking. They, they, they want to stop everything that us having ownership. They want to stop us uh, to have any thought process. They want us under people. Somebody was telling me that he's an artist and they want to create a whole movement that before you can even be an artist, that you got to be under somebody. Where you get that from? Aren't you tired of seeing entertainers? in commercials aren't you aren't you tired of seeing them making money aren't, aren't you tired of them being repped hmm. are you hearing the story of Jackie Onassis' son uprooting, and it actually came out in 2018, but it's just now coming out now that he's saying his mother was murdered allegedly in the 70s, and then they replaced her with a clone, and then they said he died when he was two, but he was still alive. Then they replaced him again, but he was actually in the damn helicopter with, was it the Kennedy boy when they went down? And how he said that they keep, what they'll do is have, they'll kill the main person, replace him with a clone, and, and kill the clone, then replace the clone with something else, allegedly. Have you heard of that one yet? Hmm. In the universal soul, there's been a lot of confusion going on. The moon has not been right. But have you ever looked at the moon closely? I was listening to this guy and he had a uh, telescope that hits the moon and looks at the craters. I said, what type of cold is that on the moon? Them craters are cold or colds. Hmm. Meanwhile, at the same time next to the moon, there was Jupiter. This was, this was early this morning. So the moon was out. There was cold, there was a, a Pacific, it was a Pacific crater that sits, and you can see there was something there. But next to the moon, it was Jupiter. But Jupiter had two other moons moving around it. I said, what the hell? This is why we can't believe NASA, we can't believe anything. This is why they want to control social media so bad, cyber magic, because when people put real stuff up there and you get to see the planets for real, for real, not what they tell you, but the real shit, you question a lot of stuff. And I said, and that's why the universe has been fucked up. You're just talking. I have a question. I was looking at last season's Married to Medicine, and you understand that Quad on Married to Medicine took custody of her nephew because her brother died, right? Allegedly. Quad went on a Vegas trip and she called to check in with him, and he said, Auntie, where you been? I haven't seen you in, I think he said, three weeks. I said, What the fuck? And she tried to play it off. Either she, either she's either he said three days, three weeks, or three months. Whatever it is, he hadn't seen her. And she tried to lie and say he was lying and he was she was in Vegas. No, he's telling the truth. You have he has not seen you. That's a whole other energy. Looking at Basketball Wives, and we go back to Evelyn Lozada. 
why are we not asking questions on why she was so mad at her friend every time somebody, even Jackie, talks about her daughter and her kids. It's like she goes over and beyond. What's up with that? It's more than just don't talk about my kids. What's really going on with that? What What is that work? Every time you look, she wants to beat up somebody over, over her daughter. Was Jackie on to something? There's an artist called Victoria Monet. M-O-N-E-T. Somebody hit me to her a minute ago. I was listening to her and I believe she's a writer for other people. I was looking at her energy. I will admit, she's she's a pretty good entertainer. But what is the frequency and what are they going to do with her? Because I don't believe they're going to blow her up the way she deserves to be blown up. Look her up. What's going on with Mo's death? It looked like they have him in a psych ward, allegedly. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little piece of energy after Thanksgiving. Just a little piece of what's going on in the universal soul and what's in front of us. Because you know now they're saying, according to psychologists, they said... If you're obsessed with celebrity energy and gossip, you're stupid. Coming from people who are stupid and, and psychopaths and maniacs. Not all, but a lot of psychologists are very interesting, right? Anyway, this is Weird Renegade Witches Blog. Hit us up when you want some real motherfucking work done.